That's why I. Uh, yeah. So working on the desserts here at the one from the one piece that we picked up today. Brought them into the truck, had to leave. So we're not trying them fresh, but they are from today. Just a couple hours old. <laughs> the cinnamon sugar brioche bread crust is what they call it. Um, very saturated, and it is a good size. So there's plenty of pieces. Let me see. There's, there's a five piece. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five piece, I believe. And um, very tasty. Look at that, full of sugar. It was great. I recommend it if anybody loves it like I do. Meaning like sugar and cinnamon. I love this stuff. But excellent. like cinnamon sugar it's for you that's all I gotta say these are the rice crispy balls you got marshmallow chocolate strawberry that's kind of hard to see try not to make them spill up out of here of course I could take them out pretty decent size the three piece check it out check it out and it's pretty solid too camera mainly hold the camera where I need it it's supposed to be in your face well I, I got a break in it Vanilla is okay for me. The inside of it. Strawberry. I like the strawberry one. But I generally do. This one actually looks like it's kind of got... Uh, Cocoa pebbles, huh? For me, I like strawberry the best so far. All right, it's my turn to give these a try. Apparently, these are uh, inspired by the rice balls that Rika offers Zoro in the One Piece series. Rice crispy to you, for sure. You can smell the, the strawberry on this one. Mm. Definitely flavorful on that one. I'm not a chocolate fan. I don't know why I took a big bite. <laughs> you took the biggest bite out of chocolate too. <laughs> I agree. It does bear a resemblance to having a bunch of cocoa pebbles made into a rice crispy ball. It is chocolatey. But on this one, I do have to agree. The strawberry is probably the best tasting one. I'm going to eat them anyway, though. <laughs> Alright, let's give these a try. 
picked up a few of these desserts. This one right here is Chopper's Hat Cake. Inspired by Chopper's Sweet Tooth, it says on the uh, menu. More decorative than anything. Might need to use the assistance of a knife. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if that was a good idea. I cracked it. I cracked it like a skull. I didn't know what to expect. Let's see here. Yeah, let's scoop this back. Um, Wheel. This is the inside. That's the cake. It's a strawberry cake. It's a hard candy shell. Some pink strawberry mousse. sure what kind of candy they used on it. But that's definitely strawberry cake and a strawberry betun or mousse or icing. They got the strawberry flavor down. So the cookie that's on the bottom look like a sugar cookie. Like she said, the strawberry strawberry is on point. There's no faking that strawberry. Strawberry is good, or at least it tastes like strawberry. Uh, the outside, I believe, is probably a like white, a chocolate, white chocolate, probably. Cookie tastes like sugar cookie without sugar. It's a pretty decent dessert. So it does say it's a delightful cake inspired by Chopper Sweet Tooth with a special nod to his love for cotton candy. The moist strawberry cake nestled within a delicate white chocolate shell, enveloping a luscious cotton candy mousse filling. So I didn't get the taste of cotton candy, honestly, because the strawberry is so strong. But it was still tasty. As far as the cookie goes, you see the cookie there, definitely. Not overly sweet, but definitely like a sugar cookie, just not a super sweet sugar cookie. Maybe a shortbread cookie. Yeah. Mm, more of a shortbread. But it's cute. It's not huge. It's more if you're going to get it, you know, just to have the experience. Definitely fondant all over this. I love fondant. So, that was an excellent buy for me. I probably won't make a habit of it, though, because none of this stuff was cheap. <laughs> While this is empty, I'm showing off the box. This is the packaging for the cakes. It's good size, nice storage container. Has the door handles, obviously. Can be reused if somebody really wants to. Okay, we've got the um, 
big mom's wedding favors that come in chocolate chiffon and pink chiffon and i'm only going to assume this is the chocolate chiffon because you can see the chocolates in there these to-go boxes are definitely neat uh, we drove with it in the truck so ah, moved around isn't that cute look at that that's a perfect. If you're celebrating your birthday, why not get you one of these by yourself? Oh, baby. I'm gonna hold it while it's still a little hard. Ooh, see, that's how it looks. Good tentacles. size. Hmm? Looks like it's got a little tentacles. Tentacles? I don't know. I just see a skull, but my husband says it looks like tentacles. And I don't see them as tentacles. I think it's just decorative, but it might be. It might be tentacles. Put it on the plate so I don't make a mess. And I'll cut it in front. Yeah, it's definitely chocolate. Look at there. It's in layers. <laughs> I'm over here just tasting away. And all the stuff on my hands, all the ice. You know what? I'm not a fan of chocolate, but I can dig it. I like the little mousse that they put in there. Mm hmm. I think it's great. See what the heavy things. Very. I don't know what I think about it really. Other than the fact that it's really creamy, uh, it's not it's not too sweet. Um, it's definitely chocolatey, but it doesn't taste very chocolatey for me. It might be why she likes it because she doesn't like chocolate. Fact that she likes it or she can dig it, but it is a good dessert, I think. Don't go in there looking for it according to the price. If you want to give it a try, just get it to give it a try. But I wouldn't recommend doing like I did, don't buy every single dessert at once. Here's the other um, Big Mom's wedding favors, and I'm gonna assume this is the pink chiffon. These boxes are very neat. La, la, la. Look at that. Got the little skulls, pirate skulls all over. Very detailed little design. You probably can't tell in the camera, but it's very sparkly and glittery. There you go. Glitter, glitter. So far, all the desserts, the cake desserts, have been glittery. Oh, sorry, I gotta put it back on the plate. mine so I can put my hands all over it. Ooh. Nice size for something so small. I love the way they did it. It's just too cute. Adorable. I love it. And I'm not even a girly girl. I will say 
The strawberry is not as strong flavored as it has been on the other desserts. If this is supposed to be strawberry, because I just know it's pink chiffon. But it's still tasty. I'm going to let my husband taste it before I eat it all. Tastes like some good wedding cake. That's what it tastes like to me. Tastes like some really good wedding cake. Uh, like she said, it's not strawberry. It looks like strawberry. But for me personally, it doesn't taste like strawberry, but it is a very creamy cake. That's the best way to explain it. If you like wedding cake, this is definitely for you, no doubt. Definitely bigger than a cupcake. It's a nice size, honestly. And obviously, you can it's share like a it regular with coffee cup size. It's definitely enough to share with another person, unless you're just that greedy and you want the whole damn thing to yourself. And that's okay too. Okay. This is the gum gum devil fruit mousse bomb. A mousse bomb cake crafted with vanilla sponge cake and adorned with an array of fresh fruits, all encased within a decadent white chocolate shell inspired by the devil fruit that granted Luffy his iconic power. So, we're prepared now this time so that I don't break it like I did the last one. Obviously, it's in a chocolate shell. Not as soft as the other ones that are cake cake. There you go the base of it they plaster it down with chocolate looks like it's got a nice hard cookie base try not to ruin it here decent size bigger than my hand <laughs> good thing it's mine because I'm making a mess Break that chocolate shell. What is in there? Look at that. Get more cake. Looks like it's got chopped up strawberries in it. <laughs> definitely has fruit in it and it's definitely strawberries it's in there obviously more of that mousse effect of all the dessert that all the desserts seem to have and an angel food cake like I said mm, vanilla sponge cake my bad so just off the cake Not my favorite. I'm gonna leave it at that. Let him do his review. My turn for the gum gum. Do it like that then. I 
taste something else in here, but fruit wise, but oh, it might be like kiwi or something in there. Might be why I don't like it. Not my cup of tea, but he likes it. I like cakes, like fresh lettuces and stuff like that. Generally have fruits in them. Uh, not does not taste like a thresh nut cheese though, but not at all. It tastes like if you took a gang of whipped cream and some sponge cake or like angel food, mix that crap up equally, equal parts, and then threw in some fruit and mix that in. Get out of this. For me, I like I like fruit cakes like that, but not her so much because. If it does have kiwi in it, that's why it was throwing her off. But aside from that, I like it. I would, I would eat it again, but that's just me. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Getting into the nitty gritty here. It's like it has some chocolate filling in the cookie base. I'm making a mess. Mm -hmm. There's chocolate filling there. It's like they set it on a Keebler Elf cookie. <laughs> no, they're just cleaning my fingers off. You're gonna have to get your hands dirty. I just, I just got my fork dirty. Oh yeah. I talk about hitting 